Today we're kicking off the 2018 Fish Eggs to Fry program where we deliver eggs to schools around the Portland metro area and then in late December they should be ready for release into local waters. The Eco Schools USA and Fish Eggs to Fry partnership is really about creating the next generation of salmon stewards. So transforming classrooms and schools into these living laboratories and students really into scientists by engaging youth of all ages and all backgrounds in rearing salmon and trout in the classroom and then eventually releasing those fry into their natural habitat. Today I brought some spring Chinook salmon eggs from the Clackamas Hatchery. We do a lot of work with science. It gives us a great opportunity to do some writing, some research, math skills, as well as the studies of what's going on in our environment. You know, our hope is that this program will give kids the opportunity to see what it takes for a fish to survive and how they may directly impact that in their everyday lives. It's so cool because once we drop the eggs in, you know, the kids are kind of glued to the fish tank and you hear questions popping out. That fascination in the kids' eyes is just, you know, what keeps us coming back. First I saw the eggs and then they turned to like Alvin and then they got a bit bigger. Dip it in and then you just kind of scoop towards some fish nice and gentle. Every day when they walk in, they run to the aquarium, they look. As a teacher, it's really fun to see them so excited. You can really see them start to think about the environment and the fish and what they need to survive and to see them really start to care about things out in the world. The kids are really excited to go out to the river and release them, but I bet they're going to be a little sad to say goodbye. We're gonna check and make sure, is it gonna be a place that our salmon will survive? Some of the most important things for salmon are, are the, the quality of the water that they live in. So everything from the temperature of the water to sediment in the water. What's one thing that pH. our salmon need? pH, so is it really acidic like vinegar? Whoa, it did. It changed from like, oh yeah, that like greenish one. The, the, the green darker. one, it turned yeah, from right here. We released some fry, they were like about that small. I like learned a whole bunch about salmon and now we release them into the wild and they're free. Hey, 